I'll turn off the query and we'll keep moving here. Besides picking things individually, we can also turn on multiple selection. And now I'm not only picking one thing at a time, I'm actually building a selection set. You'll notice that as I'm picking, the selection list gets update plus the entity editor gets filled with the current entity's information. So when I pick this element, you'll see that its property gets filled in, uh, type and all the information about that element. And then I can actually come in here if I want and change individual features of that element. What I'll do though is keep building up my selection set here. And now I've built up, I have eight elements. If I go into any FEMAP command, let's say list, model, element, FEMAP doesn't ask me for the elements. It knows I've already selected eight. It just goes ahead and lists them out to the messages and list window. And you also notice that selection remains. So if I want to keep doing something with elements, it's still there. To clear the selection, simply clear it up here in the toolbar and we're ready to start over. Let's show what we can do with some of the post-processing also on. I'm going to pick View Select, turn on the deformed and the contoured model. I want to contour by total translation in von Mises stresses and say OK. Now we see the deformed model. If we go in and again turn on element selection. Let's turn on the query again. Now besides just the element information, we also get the post-processing information that's being displayed. So as we move around, you can look at the detailed stresses and even the corner stresses on individual elements.